here I've cut out all the tools that will be needing for the sleeve. I've gone ahead to cut out the, the two that will be attaching to form the ruffles at the sleeve part. Okay, and here are the three layers that I cut out for the lower part of the skirt. So, so mate, let's go and sew this beautiful ball gown together. So now we'll start sewing the upper body. So I'm going to unpin. So we'll start from the neck area. So I'm going to turn the, the right side of the main fabric and the right side of the lining like so. And I'm going to sew it down on 0 0.5 inch. I'll go ahead and notch. And then I'll flip it over and top stitch. So I'll do the same thing for the back. I'll quickly iron it out now and then we'll continue. Finish ironing the neck. I'll go ahead now and sew the armhole down. So I'll flip it over and sew it down. So after sewing it, I'll notch them and then I'll go and give it a good press. Trying to notch all the armhole areas so that I can lay very flat. All right. I have ironed it and look at how flat they are laying. So the next thing we do now is to, you know, shape the side of this upper bodice. So I'll place it side by side like this. And the next thing, remember the allowance we, we added when we are transferring our fabric to pattern. So we're going to sew the sides on those allowance. And if you're not sure about it, you can always come back to, you know, measure and then deduct the extra one and sew it by the side. So now I'll pick the, I'll sew it like so. Next, I'll grab the lining part, lining, you know, like so, the front, the right side facing the right side, and then I'll sew it down on 1.5 inch. So I'm done sewing it. I'll go ahead now and open it up, open the seam lines and iron it down. So here is the upper body of iron it. Can you see? See how flat it's laying? It's ready. Can you see how beautiful it's looking? Everything is neatly done okay so i'll go ahead now and start preparing the lower parts of this gown for the skirt preparation i have two gathers for the two remember i said that they are going to be in three sets so i have arranged them carefully that is the first part of what to do you have to arrange all the steps of the gathers neatly like so so we're going to start with the down part so we're going to start sewing for the down part sew this one next thing we sew this one and then we sew the last one it's easier to start like that no? okay. and as you can you see we are done with the first part and the next thing i'll do is to lay the second one on top of it and begin to sew it okay just completed the second layer now can you see it's taking shape so the next thing I'll do is to place the last layer on top and do the exact thing. It's as simple as that. You can see by the time we place this one on top, okay, it's adding much volume to it. And then you also place this one. Can you see? So that's what we're going to do now to sew this down now. This is what it looks like. Can you see? So right now we'll go back to the upper bodies so that we'll start joining them together. Now we'll continue with the upper body. So remember from the design that we are making, I've cut out the strip, okay, with the length of our half length. So this is the strip that we're going to sew the two on it, okay? So I'm preparing to sew it now. It's going to form like something like this. Can you see? And then the ruffles will just go around it. So this is how far I've been going with the upper body. So remember the strip I told you I've done this part and I... I'm going to tell you exactly what I've done here. So from the midpoint of this upper body, I measure one inch apart. Place the strip like so, connect it to the short shoulder line like this, and run it through across. So what I did was to first of all, you know, stitch this one directly to the fabric. Remember, we are after inseam perfect finish. So you sew only on the main fabric. Don't sew on the lining yet. Okay. You know, sewing this one down will make it easier for me to sew this other part. So make sure you. You open it up properly. Okay. 
so this is it do you see so i'll quickly continue with the back make sure you keep your fabric open so that it does not fold and here it is we have attached this our strip to our first of all i would like to hold this in place to sew it together and sew it down all right so sewing it up like this next thing i'll come with my trimmings you know this is the right side this is the right side so i'll place the right side versus the right side and sew it down on 0 0.25 next thing i'll fold it over to cover up this gathers plate before i'll place it on the main fabric okay so i'll quickly do that now so next i'll turn it over like so you know and sew it down so as to conceal this area and here we have our ruffle so quickly i'll place it like so and attach it all around it's quite simple so let's do that quickly yeah can you see so i'll quickly go and iron it and then we start joining it to the lower bodies well this is the best part okay now we are joining the upper bodies to the lower body so first thing to do is to match it up and mark out the midpoint so this is me folding it into two and then locating the midpoint and i put a mark or a notch there like so right and i'll do same for the upper bodies get the midpoint here so the next thing i'll do is to place it the right side of the upper bodies versus the right side of the skirt part and i'll pin it down and then i'll begin to sew so i'll try to match it up to this part to the beginning part can you see and i'll start sewing it down so i sew it down there from one end to the other end and it came out so nice look at what we have sewn it is so neat and it's accurate all right our gown is taking shape as you can see everything is arranged so the next thing we are going to do now is to start fixing our zipper can you see yeah so to do that i'm going to flip it over and start sewing it from the back okay so i'm going to hold the skirt side down and sew it down so that the upper part will not be for the zipper okay so this is me trying to sew it down now i've sewn the down parts now and uh, it aligns well so the next thing for me to fix the zipper so i'm going to sew the sew the zipper the right side of the zipper on the right side of the fabric yes that is how to sew it okay so on my zipper allowance i'm going to sew that part down and after doing that i'm going to turn it over so that i can be able to sew the other part of the zip right i hope you understand so flipping it over now and then i'm sewing it down so i've sewn that part down and then making sure that everything is accurate okay so now i'll cut out all the thread lines and the zip is ready as you can see so like we all know there is no ball gown without a hairband so we decided to make a little beautiful hair ruffle for our little princess so i'm going to you know apply some amount of glue at this part so that i can lay the base on it it's quite simple so with your glue gun you want to apply a generous amount of gun on this part and then next thing i'll place it you see okay so after that i'll bring in the heavy bow i would like to use this little thing to embellish it so i'll just apply my glue on it like so place it okay so afterwards i'll place it right here yeah that's it so here we go our hairband is ready so here our gown is ready can you see all the details that we attach got our beautiful pom-pom is adding to the beauty of this gown can you see? look at the back so at the back i created a detachable bow tie 
Can you see this? So I'm going to attach it to it now. Can you see? This is so beautiful. And of course, we have our hairband to go with. This is actually complete. And then we have our friendship bracelet to go with. So everything here is so complete. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video has been very, very helpful to you. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye.